Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your December 8th through the 14th general love read and whatever other messages that may come up. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and leave comments down below if the messages resonate. If they do not resonate, check your other placements, or you can check out my sister's channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. She's an amazing tarot reader. Um, and so I'll also provide that link and the link to an extended where I'll go further into your person and the energy surrounding any other information or messages that the universe may want you to know. All right, I'm going to throw a few oracle cards out here. If you don't want to hear all the oracle messages, just um, <clears throat> fast forward to tarot where I'll get right into the love, the love portion of this reading. All righty, let's do this. What is the highest message for my Gemini's? What is the highest message here for my Geminis? We do have a new moon on the 14th, Sagittarian new moon, very powerful new moon. Um, do some research on the astrological events happening on the 21st of December as well. Um, you may be feeling a lot of these energies happening during these weeks. We have financial material changes going on for you, Gemini. And we have solar plexus, solar plexus chakra really stand in your ground, staying in your power, self-confidence, the will, the drive. So maybe you are just finally, you know, have that confidence to um, start that new beginning, start that new project, maybe venture forward, um, make, make, um, uh, slow down, Frankie, slow down. Okay. I had caffeine just before this. Okay. What this is trying to say is that stand in your power and your confidence. There's a lot of new beginnings happening on the 14th. You can set your intentions and go. You have a lot of financial abundance coming your way um, and material changes. <clears throat> so having that confidence and the will and the drive to push forward and go is what is necessary here. So set those intentions on the 14th. Um, you're really confident. I feel like you're really confident right now. Um, and everything that you touch and do is going to um, bring you abundance. All right. That is the message that I got there for you. All right. I'm going to get one more of these oracles and a love oracle. And then we're going to move forward. I get the number three and five. So somebody, um, you could be connecting with somebody who's turning 35 or you are 35 or May 3rd. It's Gemini season, right? Now that's Taurus. Um, also March 5th, which I believe is Pisces. All right. What other messages do we have here? Whoop. This one wanted to come up. Three. I don't need all three. Planning and action, discovery and happy success. So all three wanted to come out. And I think this is clarifying um, the solar plexus chakra. Okay. This is, you know, just your powerhouse right here. Powerhouse. Planning and action. So obviously the energy that you have, that, you need, that you'll have around you and that you need to use, especially with this um, new Sag moon, um, you've been planning and now it's time to take action. You are going to have complete success with every, whatever venture you are going on, are you, that you're moving on in your financial life. <clears throat> Intention, discovery. You may be discovering a whole new life out there. Um, other opportunities may be opening up for you that are somewhat connected to whatever's going on here. You also could just find something that you haven't, um, you didn't even know you lost, okay? It could be an actual material, physical thing. But when I see discovery as well too, I just feel like everything is new for you. Everything coming in is just, you're just um, sort of in this explore, ex ex like you're exploring all your options. You're just, you're loving it. All these doors are opening up for you and you just keep moving forward and trucking forward. And you're just, all these opportunities are bringing abundance for you. Um, and you are discovering sides to you, things to you, um, for things about people, opportunities that you didn't even know existed. Okay. Alrighty. Catch my breath. What do we have for Geminis in love? What do we have for my Geminis in love? <clears throat> Note to self, don't add turbo shot to coffee. What do we have for my Geminis in love? One last shuffle. Oh, 
All right, romantic feelings coming up. So whatever you're feeling is it possible um, worth exploring and it is safe for you to love. I like this. So it feels as though this could be a new, newish type relationship or maybe taking a relationship um, that you're currently in to the next level. All right, let's get some tarot cards. And let's dive into this. What's going on here with these romantic feelings for my Gemini? Show me what's going on here for my Geminis. What messages do you have? A lot of shuffle. All right. Overall energy, the Four of Pentacles. So maybe this energy of releasing a little bit. So you are focused here. <clears throat> Definitely, I get the feeling that the energies that are surrounding you recently have been about money, have been about your foundation and 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 um, just earning as much as possible, okay? This whole year has been a little weird for everybody. So maybe you um, have sought out other ways to make money. And so you're, you're getting a little bit tight and afraid to spend or let go or, or just... Um, I don't know. You just have this feeling here of kind of holding on too tight. And the overall energy here is, is of that. And I'm getting the feeling that maybe you need to sort of let go a little bit, relax. You have that department here. It's in, in check. Okay. You have planning and action and you have happy success here. So it is okay now. You've planted all the seeds and things are starting to move and you're taking action that it's okay now for you to let go a little bit um, and maybe focus on love, okay? I keep that there. Maybe we'll clarify that in a little bit. Let's see what else we have for my Geminis. We have the death card. I am not going to do reversals unless I 100% just feel like there's no doubt in my mind that it needs to be reversed, okay? We have the Empress and the Death card, and we have the Five of Swords. So there's definitely some conflicts going on here about ending a certain cycle and maybe um, beginning a new one, okay? So this could be regarding a relationship. You may be afraid to, this is where that letting go may be coming in, okay? Maybe in the recent past here, you were afraid to let go a little bit. You felt the change coming. You knew it was coming. You could have been connecting with the Taurus. Um, you could have been connecting with a Scorpio, okay? But you knew that there was some sort of change coming that needed to happen. You just felt it in your gut. You knew it. Um, you want abundance in your life you want um you want this feeling of joy and abundance that you are getting everything that you feel you desire in this world and you are changing into this person who is receiving all this who is moving forward and going and maybe somebody from the past was holding you back a little bit um or um, you just were not connecting with somebody from the past and it was causing a lot of resistance as you were trying to change and move forward. You were in your own energy trying to um, take care of yourself, have this sort of self-love, motherly, nurturing energy about yourself. You were going through a transformation and um, people were causing resistance. They didn't want to see you changing and you were changing fast. Apparently, you were changing and making these plans because financially, you look like just, if this just keeps wanting to come through for me. Financially and planning, it's just beautiful for you. Yellow, yellow, abundance, color, the sun energy, solar plexus, will, power, you know. I just see this abundance for you. And I see in the recent past that there may have been some resistance to ending a past cycle. Okay, however that resonates for you. It may, and let me get a clear, maybe a, maybe there was somebody here, this page of swords, okay, somebody who really thinks about you a lot and who kind of keeps an eye on you. <clears throat> There's somebody that keeps an eye on you. Ace of Cups here. Somebody who has a lot of love for you. And this is in the current situation. This is what this is wanting to come in with. So you have a decision to make here. And all of a sudden, I just wanted to switch right into the current. All right. Whew, take a breath. 
So there was a little resistance in the past for you letting go and maybe completing the cycle and moving on. And then boom, somebody who has romantic feelings for you is crushing on you. You're so focused on, on planning your future and, and your financial and material gains. This abundance that's coming in for you. You're so focused. You're creating resistance for love coming in. That's the message I'm getting for some of you. You're so afraid to let go of all this this planning and action that you're doing in this in your coins representing your financial and material gains. You're so afraid to let go right now. You're creating resistance for this love to come in. But somebody here is crushing on you and they are spying on you in a sense where they're keeping an eye on you. Um Maybe through social media. Maybe they've been watching you for a while. But you both have been thinking about one another. So you may know this person. Because you are juggling with the decision here with the Two of Pentacles. You're juggling of letting go here. You're you're creating resistance. But you know that this person wants to, wants to come in and express how they feel about you. And this is where, my friend, you get the message. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You need to open your heart up a little bit here because it's safe for you to love whoever's whoever's crushing on you right now. Um, You could... Who's crushing on you? Who's Ace of Wands. I get who's crushing on you and I get Ace of Wands. Somebody who's very passionate and they cannot stop thinking about you. They desire you so much. They are... Sorry, there's um the doggy behind me. Um, But this is some... It could be a, a Leo, Aries, um, or... Come on, Leo... <laughs> Sag, gee, Sag, I'm sorry. Happy birthday! I for, I'm sorry to that. So maybe Sag, maybe I for, maybe it is a Sagittarius that you're um, that's paying attention, that's spying on you, Gemini. Okay, but they have desire for you. Un, they have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands surrounding them. They have so much emotion and desire and passion for you, and they are crushing on you hard, and they are watching you. I get when I say watching you, I get the eye here in the in the ace of cups. They're watching you. Um and you're you're over here. I think you might know this. So if you know this, please in the comments below let me know. But you're trying to make a decision here because you're afraid to let go. You're like, I'm focusing on me right now. I'm focusing on transforming my life. I'm focusing on you know, this future of mine where I'm super successful and I'm making all this money and I'm, I finally found my way. If I let go and I love or trust, then all this might go away or it might turn out the way it has maybe in the past. But you are creating so much resistance for this person to open up their heart to you. The Ten of Wands here. Burdens. This is, this is burdening you. This is totally burdening, burdening you. Uh, you need to let go of um, expectations maybe that you have placed on yourself. And you need to enjoy and accept and receive this love that's coming in. You're like, you're bound by these negative past thoughts maybe of this letting go. What if I let go and the same shit happens to me that's always happened to me in the past? What if I let go? But I get this strong feeling that, that this person, this person is solid, this queen of pentacles here. They're not going to reject you. They're not going to reject you. They're not going to leave you out in the cold. They're they're very nurturing, very solid, very stable themselves. They've done the work too. So you could have a, um, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn coming in for you as well. Somebody who wants to nurture this relationship, who wants something as solid as you do. Somebody who wants something long-term and solid. That's clearly what's there. What is there anything else that we need? Um, I'm going to shuffle. Let me see. Any other advice here or anything else I need to know about this read? I'm going to get a couple more cards. And then what I'll do is I'll go into the extended. And I'm really going to take a look at this person that's coming in for you. Their true feelings, thoughts, and intentions on this relationship. Where it may evolve in. What it, how it may go or where it may go in the future. And any advice that the universe may have for you. But let's see what else we have here. The Nine of Cups. This is the desire. This is a full, um, this is, when I look at this card, this is like somebody who's sitting in this energy of self-love, just receiving and all their desires, all their, all their desires coming, coming forth. And this is your person here. They're in this place, this, uh, queen of pentacles. They've built themselves up. 
And the Queen of Pentacles is a healer type person where they work from inside out. They have nurtured their own self. They have their life together, their themselves together. They're the type of person that can come in and has and can offer you an uh, add to your life where you can add to their life as well. This isn't somebody who needs anything. They are full on, full blown in self love and they know exactly what they want and desire and they have a lot of strong feelings for you. Let this love in, receive this love, let go. Let go a little bit and receive this love. I'm going to go into the extended and I'm going to take a further look, like I said, into this person. Um, I will grab a Moonology card here for you just because if you don't go into the extended, I just want to grab a Moonology card for our Sag New Moon, December 14th. These messages or this message may not have anything to do with what I just said here. It could be something else that you just need to know. All right. Let's end this with a with a with a note from the moonology card. Confidence. I just saw the word confidence. Communication is key here at the bottom, and the answers you need are coming. Okay, so if you've been in your head and look at the full moon in Gemini. So it's basically, I mean, it's not a full moon in Gemini, but I just see Gemini. So I feel like this is a message for you. And it's like the answers you need are coming. So if there's something else that's going on in your mind, um, if something that has been driving you mad or driving you crazy, um, just know that whatever it is, the answers that you need are coming in for you. You're being heard by the universe. Um, so if some messages haven't been answered in this read, this is a message saying that if there's something else on your mind or something else going on, um, everything you need is coming because right now this, all this energy for you is just a really great energy um, of abundance, of health, vitality, and abundance and joy. Okay, my friends, I love you guys. Please leave comments down below. Um, also check out my sister's uh, site, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. You'll find the link down below as well. Um, I love you guys. Take care.